What up guys and welcome to another episode of The Block is Hot. In this episode, I'm gonna go over the best storytelling mission puzzle NFT project that I have personally seen on Cardano and that is Space Otter Society. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the mission that they actually custom built Jelly Cubes and also the service that they're gonna be providing to any other project that's interested in partaking in this. But yeah guys, without further ado, let's check out this mission. First things first guys, what the heck is Space Otter Society? Society, and why do I think you'd like this project if you're into puzzles and interactive lore? Well, I'm glad you asked, because Space Otter Society are essentially a bunch of cute space otters that went to space in a mission, and every single month in the Discord, there's some new interactive mission with a trailer, with rewards, and with a bunch of different puzzles that once you solve them, you get entered for these different rewards that can be different NFTs, different cryptos, whatever the case is, and then on top of that, you get a role for completing that specific mission that you'll never be able to get again. Now this project is a smaller project, but their community is super cool. The founder is awesome. And he had actually reached out wondering if we wanted to partake in one of their missions. And I'm about to show you guys exactly how this would look. The first part of a mission is their whole entire trailer that they make detailing what exactly is going to happen. And in this situation, guys, the space otters board their ship. They're looking for their next adventure in space. There's some sort of signal drawing them to a specific Specific planet. They get into this planet and they notice everything is sort of cube-like and as they adventure along this planet they notice these ruins with a whole entire statue and a bunch of cube markings everywhere and they notice this very slim entrance where they're able to go into these ruins and once they're in these ruins guys they notice all of these cube markings and feel some sort of energy source that's bringing them in and as they journey on through this they open the door and the adventure or the journey begins so these trailers are really cool it gives a little bit of a backstory and it kind of builds up a little bit of hype every single time you're about to go on a mission after going through the trailer you can then jump in their discord and you can read up on the mission fact the mission fact will give you all the details you need to know about this specific mission sometimes they'll even throw hints in there and you can also see the different prizes that you you can get. So for example, in this mission, you can actually get yourself a hero cube, BIG trial passes, gooms list to goombles, and a lot of times they'll even throw in various NFT prizes and different cryptocurrencies that revolve around their ecosystem. After you've seen the trailer and read up on that mission fact, you're now ready to start your mission in the mission control channel. And every single one of these missions starts off with the same question. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to mess stuff up? Up, and the answer is yes. So you can kind of get a little bit of a background of what's going on here, read on all the juicy lore, hit enter passcode, hit yes, we are ready to go, we are ready to do this thing, and then boom. Now all of a sudden a new channel unlocks and our first mission comes up. The first puzzle in this mission has to do with a cipher and you can actually read the different information and lore for each of these challenges and a lot of times they throw in hints that are needed to solve the puzzle. And this is kind of what the puzzle looked like in this situation. And if you look on their Twitter, you can see how exactly this puzzle was solved. And it says, hey, you're at the dreaded statue. Just like the stars have fallen, so has the message. This was your clue to know that this is a fallen puzzle. And you needed to realize that the number of columns of letters and the number of and the columns of missing letters were the same, and then you could start to unscramble it. And what it meant was these columns right here and the columns of words are letters as well, guys. And basically, the first column had this TLWW in it, so the first column of missing letters could have had any of those letters in any order. Then you could unscramble these, and once you are finished unscrambling them, you would get the answer, Owen. The original passage said that this was a deity of some kind, and sneak peeks beforehand, the main character Solania worships the deity Owen. That is the answer. And this was a background sheet that I provided him for the hero cube that we were giving away in this adventure. So really cool to have to solve this whole entire puzzle. Now that we know the answer is Owen, you hop back into the Discord, you hit enter passcode again, you type in Owen, you hit submit, once it verifies that that answer was correct, now a new channel again 
opens. In this new Shadows channel, you're now matched with a whole new puzzle that you have to try to figure out. And I'm just gonna show you guys the Twitter once again because this is a little bit easier. So it says, Phew, next. Your question here was what weapons did the otters bring? And that was in that Shadows channel. And then it says, towards the end of the passage, the text references weapons of old as you charge into combat. Our sneak peek from several months ago will reveal urchin spears as weapons of the old order. So this was a situation where you had to know some previous information about the project, about some of their past lore, as well as have read the passage that was in that Shadows channel. And then they said, if you look through the Space Otter collection, the only weapon you see is a spear. So the answer here was simplified to spear. Some of your guys' guesses was hilarious. And then once again, it's as easy as just hitting passcode, getting, typing in spear, hitting submit, and then you open up to another channel to the next challenge of this mission. One thing you'll notice about the missions is that they do a really great job about building this overall story and lore with throwing in some hints that you might not even notice. And they even do cool things like use AI art to give a little bit more imagery to these actual different challenges. And I'm not going to read all of this lore on here, but this next part of the puzzle has to do with what is the name of the otter speaking to Solania, which is the name of our hero cube. And he said, this one was easy if you knew where to look. Solania mentions head of the explorer profession and SOS, Space Otter Society, are one for ones or heads of professions. So Adesia was your answer, and this has to do with their one-to-one -one otter here, which is Odysseia. So it's cool how they take a lot of time to try to figure out how they can incorporate their lore in different ways. So once again, guys, you go back to this Discord channel, you hit enter passcode, you put in that Odysseia, and it'll open up to the next channel. The next channel Challenge had to do with lore once again. And once you read through this, it says, well, this looks bad. Guess this must be the great danger warned about on the surface. This wasn't on my map. What should we do? And it asked, what should the party do in this whole entire situation? And once again, guys, it was basically referenced in the trailer of what the actual answer was. And the answer was nothing. So once again, go through here input nothing, and then we can go on to the next challenge. The next challenge in this mission actually ended up being a riddle, and the riddle was never a moment of rest, gracefully touching every crop, every mountaintop. It cannot fly, run, or trot, frigid, wherever it is not. Speak it and my power shall be yours. And the answer actually ended up being sunshine, which they kind of alluded to in their whole radiant sun in their AI art. And just an additional bonus help on this last one, not only does this image depict a radiant sun, but on the character sheet that we gave them of our hero cube, it clearly stated Olwen was a goddess of the sun. So this should have hopefully led you in the right direction. So as you can see guys, these missions not only have some cool lore built in where you have to read up on the story, but they also have those different ciphers as well as riddles. And a lot of times there's actually multiple ways that you can find the answer if you're paying attention to everything going on. To finish off this mission, we are now at the last step and it kind of show you, shows you like these otters getting swept away in here. And that had to do with part of the story, but it asks, what type of otter would gravitate towards the jelly cubes the most? And there was actually a couple ways to get this, like I said a little bit earlier. One was Odysseia is an explorer, so you could have tried that. And the second thing you could have done is you could have filtered for their jelly cube trait that they actually have in their collection and see which profession has the most. So guess who wins? It's the explorer. And once you answer that last question, you pretty much complete that mission, you get that role in the Discord, and then you're available to and qualify to receive some of those different rewards that they had for that mission. Overall, guys, the mission was super cool, and Chris didn't even ask me to make some sort of video for this project at all. I was really impressed by how they put the puzzle together, and even though I'm not personally a huge puzzle guy, if you're someone that's into puzzles, if you're someone that's into lore and different stories, definitely check out their project because these missions are super cool. Not only did they 
they have the ciphers, not only did they have the riddles, all of the lore built in, but it was just a cool experience being able to go through these different channels like that. And I personally haven't really experienced it with a lot of other projects out there. So if you're into this sort of thing, definitely check it out. I also wanted to bring up that a lot of these puzzles range in difficulty, but they definitely try their best to make it easy enough for someone that's new to this whole sort of thing. On top of that, guys, they have this button called Hints. So if you aren't familiar with the answer or you're struggling to get it, you can always hit that Hint button, get a hint after waiting for two hours, and then hopefully complete the mission after that. And if you're part of a project or a community that wants to integrate these different puzzles, definitely check out Space Otter Society as well because they're offering this to different projects, including ours. So once again, big thank you to their team for putting this together for us. And also thank you guys for watching. I'll catch y'all later.